The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Danto, the Planet Man. Troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization. The law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world. Whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Danto, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. You will recall that our friends from Earth and the Planet Man were together again at Lunaria Rex. Planet Man, however, has been handed a new problem by Judge Augustus. And he and Slats are talking about it in his quarters in the League of Planets Center. Well, Slats, you've read them all now. Fifty-eight men, fifty-eight histories. Every one of them a trusted official, and yet something has happened to each one. Now, none of them can be relied upon, and that's not all. Judge Augustus just called me and told me there are ten more new reports upstairs. Yeah, I read them all. They just don't seem to make sense. If these were just ordinary people, you'd figure it was coincidence. But men like these just don't suddenly change, certainly not all at the same time. So maybe we ought to get Sherlock Holmes in on this. Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> I'm just trying to be funny. He was a famous make-believe detective back on Earth. He, you know, he had a system for figuring things out, and I read about it once, but I just can't for the life of me to remember it. I know it is something about looking for a common point. You know, Mr. Holmes was right. That's exactly what we've been trying to do. There doesn't seem to be any common point. There must be one. Hey, this may sound awful foolish, but it just suddenly occurred to me. There was something all those officials did have in common. Well, what's that, Slut? Well, it probably hasn't got anything to do with it, but it seems to me that every one of them was on Mars sometime in the last six months. Well, even so, what could that have to do with it? Wait, let's not rule anything out. You take this pile and I'll take the rest, and we'll see if you're right about Mars. By Saturn's moon slut, you were right. Every one of these men was on Mars at some time or other in the last six months. Yeah, my hunch was right, but it doesn't seem to give us the answer. I can't be sure. I'd better tell Judge Augustus about this. Want me to go along? No, I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> You're sure of this, Dantro? Positive. We checked over it several times. There's no mistake. Still not an answer. But it's the only thing we've got to go on. What can we do now? There's nothing we can do from here. We're going to have to take a trip to Mars. I was just going to suggest that. I'll leave at once. Good. Most of these officials seem to be Martians. The ten reports I got this morning, four of them were from Mars. I better get going. Very well. If you find out anything, please communicate with me at once. I shall. <laughs> It looks like your hunch was right. Judge Augustus agrees. Thanks a lot. That is just lucky. Where are you going? Mars at once. Mars? Well, come to think of it, I guess that's the only thing to do. Maybe we can find the answer there. We? I'm afraid it's just me, Slats. I have no right to drag you into danger again. This isn't your problem. You make it awful tough, but remember what you said to me back in your room before about doing me a favor? Well, I didn't mean this kind of favor. It's no favor to ask you to risk your neck again. Look, it may be nothing at all. Besides, I'll go buggy if I sit around here much longer. The kids and pats are gone off on some space excursion. Now, that may be fine for them, but it sounded awful dull to me. You just got to take me. Well, I'll have to ask Judge Augustus, but if he says all right, you're welcome. As a matter of fact, I'll be kind of glad to have you along. Well, that's where I like to hear you talk. I'll go get my duds together and meet you at the spaceport. When are you blasting off? In about 15 minutes. But look, uh, Judge Augustus may not approve. He better. You're going to have one wild earth man on your hands. I'll see what I can do. Hello, control tower. Patrol ship Cosmos ready to blast off. You're clear for blast off. Leave when ready. We're ready now. Good luck. We're going to need it. Slats, you set. Very well and anxious. Let's go. Right. Well, we're on our way. Yeah, 
wish I could have told Professor Darrow. I know, but Judge Augustus made me promise we would say nothing to anyone until we knew more. Sure, he's right. Just that we've worked together for so long, I feel kind of funny about keeping secrets from him. But that's the way it goes. Think we'll have any trouble? Well, there's no telling, Flats. This whole thing is so mysterious, I can't tell what to expect. Well, anyhow, we'll be prepared. I say must have loaded enough armament on this patrol ship to take on the whole solar system. Well, I still wish we had the Planeteer. Yeah, she was a beautiful ship. Too bad. Anyway, it's too late to worry now. Trouble, here we come. Flat seems to be all set for trouble. Perhaps it might be more than he and Dandro can handle. We'll be back in a moment. So, level off. When we left Danto and Slats, they were aboard the League ship Cosmos, heading for Mars to check the clue which they had uncovered in the strange case which has just been made known to them by Judge Augustus. We'll be coming into Mars soon. Maybe we'll find out some answers. I certainly hope so. I got another hunch, but this one is really wild. I'm beginning to have a lot of respect for your hunches, Slats. What is it? I don't laugh, but do you think Marston could be behind all this? Marston? Oh, I know it sounds silly, but we never really knew for sure he was dead. Well, we never found his body, that's true, but it would have been impossible for him to have survived that fall. Still, when they searched for his body at the bottom of the chasm, it is gone. Well, it must have rolled into that underground river. No, I think Marston is dead. Yeah, I guess I'm just being silly. Besides, this isn't the sort of thing that Marston would do. It's much too subtle. He always used a sledgehammer technique. No, I'm afraid, Flats, this time your hunch is dead wrong. Well, anyhow, once we get to Mars, we'll be closer to the truth. I hope so. Well, Qual, that takes care of the ambassador from Venus. Another convert to Marston's cause. Uh, yes, another one, Marston. Soon the whole solar system will join our crusade. The system is rotten. <laughs> They must see the right road. I will show them the way. Under me, they will be united, and I'll lead them in the right path. In a little while now, we'll have enough of the key men throughout the system under our control. <laughs> the ancients were brilliant men, Qual. Only brilliant men could design a machine like the Hypnoray, a machine to control and direct the minds of so many. With it and these other mighty weapons, I'll soon rule the solar system. <laughs> Who is our next recruit? <laughs> <laughs> recruit. That's a good way of putting it, Qual. Yes, recruit. Have you checked the list of arriving officials on the telecathode? We have some visiting dignitaries from Mercury, the Secretary of the Interior from Venus, and some important people from the moons of Saturn. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You know the procedure. Find out where they are staying and plant the terminals in their room. Then we can gain control with the hypnoray and condition their minds in favor of Marston's crusade. <laughs> I shall leave at once. No. Stay for a moment while I check some of the Martian officials with the spy ray. We cannot be too careful. For all my study, there's still much about these machines that I do not understand. I can't be sure that I've used them right. We must not take a chance on losing our control of a single official. They're all important to my plan. <laughs> You're right, Marston. We can't be too careful. I've spent too many months down here in the caverns of Mars to make an error now. We've gone too far to turn back. If we're careful, we cannot fail. We must not fail. Our cause must triumph. It shall triumph, Marston. It shall triumph. <laughs> Flats. First thing I want to do is call on Sart, the first region of Mars. Sart? Hey, wait a minute. Isn't his name on that list? Yes, but I'm sure there must be some mistake. I know him. I'd stake my life on his dependability and loyalty. Well, let's go and find out. Yes? Planet Man and a companion to see you, Regent. Planet Man. Very well. Show them in. Sart, you old Martian mud walloper. How have you been? Planet man, how do you do? What? How do you do? 
What are you talking about? What's the matter? Look, start, it's me, Dantro, the planet man, remember? Of course I remember. What is it you want? What do I want? I just want to say hello. Won't you sit down? Well, sure, that... Oh, by the way, this is Slats. Uh, Slats, this is Sart, first regent of Mars. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. How do you do? What is the purpose of your visit to Mars? Well, just a little routine trip around. Are you looking for anything or anyone in particular? No, just a routine check. Can I be of any service to you? Uh, No, no, not right away. We'll get settled someplace, and then perhaps I'll get in touch with you again. Very well, I'm at your service. Thank you. Come on, Slats, let's go. Huh? Oh, sure. Qual, that was the planet man. Now there's a prize catch. I shall instruct Sartre to be more friendly. He must invite them to stay at his home. And you, Qual, you be sure the terminals for the hypnoray are in his room tonight. We cannot let him get away from us. Marston plans to use his hypnoray on Dantro. Will Sartre be able to lay the groundwork for this fiendish plot? What course will Dantro follow now that he is baffled by Sartre's strange actions? We'll be back in a moment. But first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. Tune in again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. Ah, uh, planet. planet.